Hi guys, this is Steven, the sales manager from Top Flight Tech. In today's video, I'll be introducing and unboxing one of our most popular products, 4G Long Life Battery Asset Tracker TLP One LF. And here are the main, are the main rundowns of our uh, main feature. First of all, 4G Asset Tracker. It is designed with the 4G and LTE networking. Secondly, it has long life battery, which is up to five years with one report per day and three years with, with two reports per day. And if you wish to receive a report every other hour, you can do so, but at least in this case, the battery won't last as long. Thirdly, it has the waterproof IP67 function and we have done the waterproof test in the last video. If you haven't watched that video, please click the link on the top to watch that video. Lastly, it is built with rock construction just in, in cases of any unaware drop down. And here are the scenario for application. Traders, they don't need frequent update and as well as the caravans and other assets. One other application is for storing vehicle recovery since it only reports once or twice per day and when they are not reporting, they simply just go to sleep mode and in this case, it's almost impossible to detect it. Now let's unbox the tracker. First of all, you will find a magnet USB cable. And this is going to be used at here. The function of this USB cable is to be used to connect to the computer for configuration. And please don't forget that this is not used for charging since this is a non-rechargeable battery. And if you use this cable to charge the battery, it might damage the battery itself. Next, you will see there are two bags of the screws. One has the smaller size and another one has the bigger size. The bigger size one are for you to stabilize the tracker onto the asset. The smaller ones are for you to strengthen the rear panel. Lastly, you can find there's a simple screwdriver. This is the on hand loop of the tracker. On the side, you will find a tag which shows the IMEI number. And it is also the unique ID of every tracker. At the front, you will see there's a GPS indicator from the top first one. The second one is the network indicator. And for the rest, are for battery indicators. And when the indicators of GPS and networking are flashing, it means that they are searching for signals. And when they are solid on, it means that they have gained the signals. At the back, you will see there's a light sensor and it only works when it is fully attached to the surface. And if someone happens to remove the tracker from the surface, and as long as it, attach, it detects the light, you, you will receive an alert notification sent to you telling you that your tracker is being removed. And for the front, this is not the light sensor. And please remember that um, for our other personal asset tracker, this is the light sensor. But for this one, we didn't find it uh, necessary to have the light sensor at the front. So this is not a light sensor. Now let's move on to the main board. At this part, you need to do two things. First of all, insert a SIM card. And when you close the SIM card spot, make sure that you use a little strength to push it forward to make sure that it's tight enough. 
The second step is to turn the bottom to on unsteady, to unsteadiness. And also you will see there is there is an out layer that's made of rubber to keep water from getting to the main board. And the last step is to paste the screws to the rear panel. And by the way, if you want to improve your efficiency and save the time, you can use our electrical screwdriver. And please remember to set it to number six in this case. After you have placed all the screws to the rear panel, please make sure that they're all the way in. And there's one small tip to help you to make sure if it's tight enough is to see if there's, if there's a small seam on the side. And if you see there's a small seam on the side, it means that you don't have the screws tight enough to the rear panel. After we have done all the things, we will need to attach the tracker onto the asset. There are simply three ways to do it. First, you need to drill four small holes onto the surface of the asset, and then stabilize the tracker with the bigger size screws. But be aware that you need to drill four holes first onto the asset, because if you don't do that, you might damage the tracker if the screw uh, goes directly to, uh, to the surface. The second way is to use the polyurethane. I would suggest to place the tracker on the flat surface just to keep the water from leaking in. The third way is to use the magnets. You will need, you will need to use the screws to stabilize the magnets to the tracker first. And this is how it looks like with the magnets onto the tracker. And please note that the rear light sensor right here will not work in this case since it is exposed with lights when you have the magnets on the tracker. If you like our video, please subscribe below and follow us on LinkedIn. We have a lot more to offer. Thank you.